Hey guys, Underground Geek here, and uh, I had an idea for a new video, because um, I had a couple people kind of request it, um, but a video talking about uh, a story that I was working on, that I've been working on for the past year, and uh, kind of see what you guys think about it. Um, I used to uh, write stories a lot when I was younger. In school, I would write a lot of short stories, and I would do a little bit of illustration along with it, because illustrations really helped me get across what I'm trying to talk about as far as stories. If I ever did a story, I would probably do them old school like where you had a book and then a couple of pages every now and then you would have an illustration to kind of show you what was happening uh, to get to get the idea across. Not so much a comic book, but more of like a in between a comic book and a regular book with lots of illustrations. Um, but I've been working on this one story for a while and I don't really have a name for it yet. Um, I thought about calling it the ghost or um, faith or something like that, uh, just from ideas that I've had. But uh, so whenever I'm doing a story, what I'll do is I'll write down a couple of uh, motivational phrases about different things that famous people have uh, said to kind of uh, get me in the mood for uh, what I'm about to do. And uh, this one kind of helped me here. It says, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And uh, that kind of goes into what I'm talking about in the story here. Um, in this setting, like every other setting, people want power. And sometimes they don't care where it comes from. Sometimes they want a quick fix and they need it right now. And uh, as far as my story ideas goes, you know, in this setting, you've got kind of this uh, totalitarianism as far as a dictator uh and ruling like a kingdom almost in society and you've got one government uh, kind of running everything and uh, it's not so much against big government that's not, not what I'm trying to get across but it's against um, the wrong kind of government and uh, ruling over people's thoughts and everything um, and in this world faith is declined uh, spirituality is at an all-time low and uh, you know, God and religion and different other religions are all spoken to, spoken as a fantasy, like Santa Claus. Um, not really anything that you really want to believe in. Does that kind of remind you of anything now? Um, but uh, good people are only good in this society because other people have done good to them. Um, and, I, and I'm still working out how my protagonist is going to get his uh, strength to... Uh, to fight the evils in the story. Um, I don't know if maybe he'd get it from a book or some kind of artifact or maybe get it from the, uh, some spiritual realm or through doing uh, good for other people, maybe get, get stronger. Um, but in this setting, it's post-apocalyptic. And uh, I have a very Christian background. So when I'm doing stories, I kind of use that to write with because if you've ever read the Bible, they've got very interesting stories in there to kind of pull from. And uh, in this setting, uh, this is post-apocalyptic, so it's like a book of revelations. Uh, the Holy Spirit is left, and the world is full of sin without forgiveness, willful sin. Nobody really cares. Nobody helps anybody. And um, uh, in this story, uh, people have given in to political correctness. You know, they don't really, uh, they, they don't really do anything for themselves. They just trust the government to tell them what to do. And uh, you've got these different feudal lords ruling for this kingdom there's seven different uh uh little feudal areas and they each have uh, a lord but they also each have uh, a a like a great uh warrior or general for them and there's seven of these guys and they travel around in a group kind of policing these different areas and uh the, they're very interesting i'll tell you about them in a little while um but uh, pollution is at an all-time high. Um, people are not having children anymore. Um, they're having uh, children grown for them. And uh, so everybody kind of has the population controlled for them. You know, everything everything's being controlled, okay? So um, in this setting, you've got this main protagonist. And uh, he's kind of a thief. Um, I'll show you kind of my idea for him later. But... Uh, uh, the, he gets this power, this ability, uh, his way of fighting evil. And uh, it's 
it's a very strong ability. He doesn't know where it comes from, but one day he he just it, it was it was gained to him, and he can't really control it. Think of this power kind of like a fire hose. When you re, when you turn on the fire hose, you can't really control what direction it's going in. When he's when he's trying to use it, it's like a fire hose spraying in whatever direction it's spraying, and so whatever it hits, it annihilates. If that is evil, it annihilates it. And uh, the evil, the evil people in the story actually can't even—they um, can't really even look at the power because the light itself will, will weaken them. And uh, some people call the power the ghost um, because there's somebody talking to them in their minds whenever they're trying to use it, and uh, it kind of remains before and after they use it. Residually, they'll kind of hear mumbling and whispering in their minds after they use it. Um, but as of right now, they only know of one person, and that's the main protagonist that uses it. Okay, so the main good guy, I told you, he's kind of like a thief. And he's stolen this mask. It's, it's some kind of prototype mask. And I, I always like the silhouettes of a wolf or a fox because him being a thief. Um, so I, I drew this nice, uh, almost gothic but militarized type mask. It has like a gas mask built into it. Um, but then you've got the... Uh, the wolf uh, kind of uh, silhouette to it with a visor and these are going to be you know the antenna that help give him the different visuals on the inside the helmet but then you've got almost like the mouth is stitched on it and this kind of gives this cool kind of gothic kind of uh, steampunk feel to it and he's going to have you know of course very tattered clothes because of the society that he lives in and uh, your your bad guys the, the seven warriors that I told you about that go around in a group they're each going to have military styled um, outfits almost a, a lot of dark leather um, things like that have different rankings um, but what's going to be unique is the masks that they wear over their faces are going to be styled after like porcelain um, styled uh, Greek masks and Victorian masks um, like this sort of you know so it's going to be kind of ominous because you're going to have these guys very militarized but wearing these masks over their faces so you can't really tell their expressions and uh, it's going to emanate a lot of power with these kind of masks you know you you're not going to go around and just mess with these guys when you see these dudes right here with this scary mask and how powerful they are you're going to run the other way so these guys are going to come after the protagonist um, once they learn that, that he's stealing and uh, once they confront him that's when he'll kind of uh, be able to finally have the ability for whatever reason maybe a family member gets killed maybe he uh, um, maybe he just prays for help and um, it comes to him but when it comes to him he can't control it so let's say he's fighting one of these guys and he releases the power well the power is going to come like a uh, some kind of laser fire hose or something, you know, something crazy he can't control. And it may just cut the bad guy completely in half, you know, or something like that. And that would scare the rest of them enough to where they would retreat for now. And um, so then I thought that'd be a good way to open the story up. But that's kind of as far as I've gotten so far. I've been thinking more about what I want to do and what I've been working on. And, you know, I've been trying to sketch and things like that from using ideas and what I to come up with different masks. Um, that they might wear and each each uh, I could, I'm just call them generals each general that I have will have different kind of characteristics you know different things that they're good at kind of like you remember on uh, full uh, full metal alchemists the way you had the different sins that had all the different abilities something kind of like that but more ominous with the uh, porcelain uh, stone masks and uh, can you imagine when they're fighting and these masks right here are getting chipped away and stuff and you finally see them and they're like grotesque looking or maybe they're beautiful and they're covering their masks up to keep uh, their view from being shown like they're shaming themselves or something but uh, I just thought that'd be a really cool idea let me know what you guys think alright bye